All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan. I'm starting my videos uh, late today because um, I woke up normally, like 9:40. You know, I got better night's sleep last night too. Uh, problem is the um, the fucking cleaning guy ha is like I think he's just paranoid about fucking coronavirus. He keeps cleaning with the stupid bleach, so I have to spend like 10, 20 minutes uh, taping up the rest of my door. Because that's where all the air comes in. So, you know, it's worked before in the past when I was dealing with the guy who likes to smoke and it just, get, just gets into my fucking apartment. Now, you know, um, now I'm sealing off the rest of my door. So, with, you know, this black electrical tape. All right. So, uh, actually, let's see. I'm actually running low on this Amazon.com. So, I think it's black electrical tape. But it's really strong tape. That's that's what matters. So um, I use that to cover up the gaps in my door between the door and I guess I'm not a builder, right? Which is funny because I want to buy real estate one day. I mean, I'll probably learn it. But like the gap between the door and the actual, I guess, door frame, right? There's always that gap. Like it's it, in my case, it's a pretty big gap for like three sides of my door, right? The back the, the the back of the door where like it's where the hinges are. Uh, is pretty tight, you know, there's a couple of cracks, I mean, there's a couple of gaps, but not, not that bad. Black electrical tape. Um, let's see, yeah, yeah, it's exactly this one. Colored electrical tape, PVC, general purpose. Yeah, I, these tapes are amazing, like, fantastic. They're like, they're like, like, you know, super fucking strong. Uh, oh, Scotch, I haven't seen, oh, Scotch makes black tape too. It's also made by 3M. Oh, huh, I did not know that. Or maybe I did know that, I just simply forgot. Yeah, so this this tape is like super cheap. Wow. Yeah, I'll have to uh I'll have to get some more. Uh, looks like people are actually spending all my tweets. Huh. Yeah, I've uh like I still find it annoying when like the few people that I follow and then they just unfollow me for some reason. They always tend to be women and definitely old people. It's like, you know, these fake right fake Christian pieces of shit really piss me off. And I know I shouldn't, but, you know, again, but of course it all stems from the same, basically the same asshole that I, we will not be naming. Because we don't want to be giving that asshole more credit and fame than he deserves, because he doesn't deserve any uh, after this outrage. And I didn't say anything bad to this person at all, right? So it's like, what's her problem, right? And it's just, it's just so annoying. It's just so annoying, right? Uh, and on top of that, she is followed by the same people I'm followed, all these big people. So again, what's her fucking problem? It's it's like I'm just so annoyed with people, well, with bad people that is. But oh well, you know, some people don't like the truth, or you know, in my specific case, I can expose people for who they really fucking are, and I think that's really what's going on. So you know, I went on a nice little fake anti-fake right, you know, uh, rampage while still supporting our Trump. Um, actually, we probably do want to go over it real quick because it is a little important because they're trying to reopen um, uh, the economy, right? So the good news is Trump, uh, like Trump, actually retweeted Corey Lewandowski and actually mentions the words whites uh, and white evangelical Christians. The fact that he even mentions the word white and Trump retweeted it is like exactly why you know I made a big because this is actually a big deal. Because uh, Trump basically doesn't acknowledge his white base, which is basically his biggest supporter base, right? Because again, accusations of neo Nazi, he's a Nazi, he's a Nazi, he's, he's hitting you, right? And all that stupid retard shit. So the fact that he even mentions whites in the evangelical Christian shows, at least Trump is aware of what's going on and explains why the fake right is trying hard to deflect from this fact. Because uh, they're also trying to do the same shit, too. That's pissing me off. Again, that's also why I'm going on a rampage. Right, all these all these fucking fake conservatives are like, well, you know, yeah, we're America first, yeah, we support Trump, and then they turn right around and you know they're getting ready to you know shove that knife right right up your back, you know. So we're not gonna let them get away with it this time. Fake news terrorists also from the shit left want to implode the economy, keep the coronavirus coronavirus hysteria maximized to tank this populist revolution. It's their last card left to play. Yeah, and the fake right is right up there with them too. Uh, so this is Trump complaining about uh, fake news terrorist media saying governor's decision to reopen up the state. So I actually didn't know that. I don't actually know who has the authority to do what. Um, so Trump's, but basically Trump is in charge. That's why we're seeing dictator Trump. Uh, so 
purpose of Craig Coughlin confusion, some of the but yeah, anyway, um, uh, he also goes on to say that like he's working with the governors, obviously, because obviously if Trump screws up, then he'll get the blame too. So it's not like, yeah, he technically has the power to reopen, but he's not going to be stupid about it either. He's obviously going to uh, reopen some areas and some areas will not reopen, such as us New York City types, right? I'm still stuck here, right? Even Mike Servage acknowledges that we're considered a red zone and that we basically have to remain in lockdown, which sucks, right? Even though I spend all my time in here, I don't like the fact that other people are doing the same exact thing I am because a it's not their choice and B um, Not everyone is an introvert, right? Uh, like myself Well, I should rephrase that. I guess I'm introvert slash extroverted, but I enjoy being introverted more than I do extro uh, Extroverted, but I'm not but I'm willing to go out if I need to right, but that's the thing if I need to I just don't feel I need to other people definitely have to be out there, right? Because that's how God made them. So let, let, let them run loose. Uh, so I didn't actually play this. I actually want to know. What does it say? But I want to thank the many... Oh, yeah, before we do that, for some reason, the Democrats are holding up my uh, Trump bucks, too. Like, I still haven't gotten mine yet, right? There's an IRS website. Uh, IRS stimulus check. Uh, and they're setting it up in mid-April, so it should be at any day now. Um, a, that's the PDF. I think, here we go. Where is it? They had a direct link. I'll just get it from my crow. Oh, th that is the site. Yeah, it's this one. So they said, um, so for people like you and me who already filed and haven't gotten your money yet, this is what we're interested in. It get my payment coming mid-April. So they're setting up a thing now, as I think it's gonna come out this week or maybe next week. It says mid-April, and right now it's mid-April, uh, to where uh, you could just check your status of your stimulus check. So I'll let you pause, you can read, or just go to this URL here and, you know, whatever. So I'm waiting for my 1200 bucks, all right? Just on principle alone. Governors, health professionals, scientists, and business leaders for their incredible hard work and input over the past month. And even long beyond a month, Mike, I would say, you know, so we've been working together with a lot of them for, it seems like, forever. I've been having many discussions with my team and top experts, and we're very close to completing a plan to open our country, hopefully even ahead of schedule. And that's so important. We will soon... Shit. Whoops. I meant to pause it, not... See, that's why I hate about Twitter sometimes. It like control F doesn't work, and when you press space bar, it goes scrolls down instead of pausing, which is basically what other sites like YouTube and Twitch do. Finalize new and very. But anyway, now I now I know why everyone's losing their shit because he's reopening America, uh, and the fact he said it's uh, ahead of schedule already indicates to me, yeah, the fake news terrorists again, mostly by the shit lib left, are uh, getting pretty mad about it. We will soon finalize new and very important guidelines to give governors the information they need to start safely opening their states. My administration's plan and corresponding guidelines will give the American people the confidence they need to begin returning to normal life. Good. That's what we want. We want to have our country open. We want to return to normal life. Our country is going to be open, and it's going to be successfully opened. But I want to thank the many governors, health professionals, scientists, and business leaders for their incredible hard work. And oh, it, whoops. What? And it's going to be successfully opened. But I want to thank... Oh, okay. And it's looping. All right. Yeah, I'm still, still dealing with my bit heroes while we're playing. Maybe I should just play clips all day so I could play my mobile games. <laughs> all right. So that's good. All right. So now I understand what's going on. All right. So we got Trump in election mode. He's acknowledging his white base. So he should be uh, pretty well... Uh, actually, I already did refresh this. So 52 to 44. All right, this is very good. So Trump's doing pretty well. Um, I do have a older tweet. Uh, to the folks using dictator Trump, what did you call Obama when he did the same shit for DACA? That's actual dictator shit. Yeah, exactly. Um, let's see. Something deeply rich. It's talking about the fact that after the false allegations of Trump, Cabana, Me Too, which on shit libs have now nominated and accused rapist molester Joe Biden, and Bernie Sanders has endorsed him. Yeah, I, I didn't I retweet the other thing too. Well, <clears throat> Nick also goes on to say in another tweet that you know 
<clears throat> or maybe he actually uh, deleted the tweet, maybe. Um, uh, the Democrats, when they need to get the job done and beat Trump, they nominate a senile old white guy. <laughs> They didn't, they didn't bother asking their women or their uh, minorities or whatever that they constantly do virtue signaling on. Yeah, because again, it's all bullshit. It's all fucking bullshit. It's kind of like a little bit like Andrew Cuomo, right? But I get it. He's just scared, right? I think it's just more like Cuomo is just scared. Um, you know, he's done a pretty good job, believably, uh, believe it or not, of not being overly partisan about it. Uh, so I think he really is motivated just simply by fear, especially now that his brother has fucking coronavirus. So I'm pretty sure that's constantly like, you know, making him like fucking, you know, like if I had, if, if, if someone in my family had coronavirus, yeah, I'd probably be scared. Well, I don't know if I'd be scared. I mean, I have my Christian training now, right? My self training, you call it, right? But I'd still at least be kind of concerned. It's like, oh, geez, you know, I know what happened with cancer and Rush V's, you know, beloved sister, right? And that's why Rush was like, you know, now now he is the man he is now, but he had to lose his sister to be. And it's like, gee, <laughs> it's like you know, you, you don't need to be that harsh, guy. Like I'm, I'm listening, I'm listening. Just, just, give, just give me a little more time, right? Just, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. So, um, yeah. Also, I kind of realized why the per money per the money per person is a lot lower in New York State than in other states where it's like I think Cuomo mentioned Montana or something. And it's like three hundred thousand per Montanian. It's because New York has so many more effing people, right? They still get more money overall. We're getting more money in New York, right? Because there's literally millions of us and a lot of people have freaking coronavirus. As opposed to like, you know, I've never been to Montana, but I assume it's more rural, right? So a lot of people are a lot more spread out. You know, how that many corona case, coronavirus cases. So yeah, you know, you give them like 3 million bucks, like 10 people have coronavirus. That's like a million dollars per person. Oh, wow. But Tara's getting more money. No, they're not. It's like, <sighs> I just wish people would just stop lying. All right. But, you know, whatever. You know, things are getting better. We're reopening America. There's nothing anybody can do about it, it looks like. And uh, the good guys are still in charge, at least the few of us that are in. All right. So let's see what's going on with crypto. So now that we have the fundamentals in place, you know, it's just a matter of time before we get back to normal and we can start making money again. Or rather, a lot of you will get the go back to your lives and I get to, you know, uh, not have to wear this stupid masks anymore. Ah, oh, shit, I pulled it out of the bag. All right, so Bitcoin searches for this week, I believe, have not been released, right? Because today is Tuesday. Yeah, it's not been released yet by Google. Uh, I'm going to refresh this one more time uh, just to be safe. Because, um, because again, you know, it's just like, had to fix my door so I could stop smelling that stupid bleach smell because again the cleaning guy in this building is just scared to death of coronavirus or something. Uh, all right, so these numbers are accurate. Uh, Bitcoin balance is at 64.2 percent. 24 hour volume is pretty low actually, at 119.2 billion. Um, so if I had to guess, I think it's actually. I mean, if we go by like what I read a couple of days ago or last week, like rich people are actually dumping their crypto and then retailing is retail investors the normies are buy up crypto then maybe that's what we're seeing here uh but again this thing can't really go up that much more in fact the markets cannot go up that much more right you know as i said yesterday today is supposed to be an update and it is but uh you know not everything's going up as you can see and, so, and of course real estate stocks rf and rebel especially are still taking kind of a hit it's not too bad right but again, it's because fundamentally we're not there yet. We have to reopen America. That's the next step in the fundamentals, and it's there. <clears throat> but in the meantime, yeah, the stuff is not going to... I mean, I don't see anything crashing because, again, the worst is over. Unless, it's, again, oh, God forbid, our black swan event happens. Or, you know, for some reason the coronavirus becomes a lot worse. But, I mean, it's already getting warmer even here in America. So, I mean, like... Just by scientific fact alone, it's just going to get better, all right? I mean, I think technically you can still get the flu in May and June, but how many people actually get sick during May and June? Like, A, it's too hot, and B, the sun actually kills a lot of the germs, and the sun is basically out for, like, what, 15, 16, 17 hours every day for the next few months? Yeah, that's why people don't get sick. Plus, you also get... Uh, what is it? With uh, vitamin D or something? Like the sun hits your skin. I forgot what you get. You get vitamin D or E. I always take all the pills anyway, so the supplements. So, you know, because again, I 
stay indoors. I, I honestly don't get much sun. <clears throat> also, I used to like having a tan. All right, I look, I actually look better with a Chinese tan kind of thing. But the problem is, like, if I get tan too much, I start looking like uh, Hispanic or black, and I don't want the cops to racially profile me. So I, I, I keep my skin a lot more uh, lighter. <laughs> so you know, people want to say, well, but that's racist. You should be able to get a tan. It's like. Yeah, have you ever dealt with cops? It's like, it's like, you know, I just don't want to fucking deal with it, right? You know, the cops will deal with their own bad karma in their own way, so. You know, not not my, not my problem, right? You know, uh, everyone gets what they deserve, and if they choose to be pieces of shit, well, God's wrath and, you know, karma will deal with it. So, you know, my job is to just survive and just get out of everyone's way if possible, and that's what I'm doing. So, no judgment, but, you know, don't expect me to go down with you when the ship, you know, goes down. Like, I did tell you, hey, maybe don't act like an asshole kind of thing, right? To bad people, you can act like assholes, but to normal people that you don't even know who they are, you just kind of just walking on the street. Well, you know, it's, it's like, that's kind of mean to just, you know, just randomly assume everyone's a bad person. That's, that's not right. That's not cool. All right, anyway, Bitcoin, so basically at 6,900 bucks, uh, Litecoin's at 41.36, so pretty much it's well, it's kind of like yesterday or maybe slightly down. I don't know why these numbers are in the green then. I guess maybe it went down a lot more and then it came back up a little. That's what we're seeing. And then the spark line, they call it a spark line on the right, you know, the price lines. Um, and then maybe it's coming up a little. Dogcoin is at 243.5 million market cap, so that's pretty good. Um, I know Hive recovered a little bit, but I haven't really bothered. Steam is at 15.30 cents. So pretty much all the crypto prices are about where they should be. Uh, JP Morgan, don't care. They hate Bitcoin. Uh, Amazon suit lays out new and astonishing situation. This is new. One in four Americans will use stimulus checks for housing costs. Yes, of course. Mine is just going to pay my bills. So, um, uh, Python. GoDaddy, see how how small they are impacted by coronavirus. Yeah, don't ever buy shit from GoDaddy. They not only spam your account, but they overcharge you on everything, and they like they're really expensive. Like they're really they're they're really money grubbing pieces of shit, and they're on t they are one hundred percent on board with censorship. So fuck them, right? Uh, I have a few domains left with Do GoDaddy, but I'm going to transfer the remainders to uh, Epic.com, which is this. Which is the domain registrar for gab.com so at least i don't have to worry about the free speech plus they give you free built-in privacy uh who is uh, awesome so it's actually cheaper too and, and they have a much better user interface as well uh the mystery of bank dividends uh Carla, what do you do you haven't received your money yet actually i'm kind of curious because i haven't received mine yet but i think it's just a matter of just simply wait um I just want to read what the suit is. There's also another article on Yahoo Finance I wanted to read, but I don't think it's here anymore. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, do I still have it open? No, shit. It was actually a really good headline, too. Unfortunately, I don't remember, so we're going to have to see. Market hazard kicks off. All right, so first and foremost, uh, all right, so Crex is, yeah, Crex is in Firefox and my VPN just, like, doesn't work very well. 404 coin is going up to seven to eight. Uh, JFC coin, I'm gonna go on my Chrome. Uh, let's see, it says JMC is at seven to eight sub Satoshis and has a 24 hour value of 23.72. So everything's uh, improving quite nicely. Uh, that's, that, that's what we want. Um, let's see, let's go back here. Two by two coins back down to 60 to 62. However, if someone wants to buy like a million kajillion two by two coins, so a very good sign. Compound coin has uh, gone back down to 61.35 to 74, a little under 7,400 Satoshis of a dog coin. So compound coin's still, you know, uh, making, making the money, but now it's slowing down a bit. I mean, considering how power, how much crap was being bought and sold on compound coin, yeah, I'm not surprised it wants to take a break. Uh, cause you know, people are financially tapped out. Uh, again, I don't really want to read any of this Bitcoin shit, uh, mostly cause it's just nothing new. Um, be careful if I move to proof of stake. Um, uh, oh, we got a lot of articles to read. Uh, I guess we could read this real quick. Um, 
But I do actually foresee a situation where that will happen. And then what will happen is Bitcoin will just simply have like a 1% forever APR, something, something very low and stable. <clears throat> because what's going to happen is once you run out of Bitcoins to mine, the, uh, the transaction fees are just not going to be enough, even if everyone's using Bitcoin. So, uh, you know, I might as well just use proof of stake. Uh, I mean, I, I used to talk about this a lot, too. I don't really feel like going through the whole thing. Um, uh, for, but the thing is, if they switch to proof of stake, that's going to kill the ASIC mining um, industry. So, uh, so another alternative that Bitcoin can also do is uh, they want to maintain the mining power because the mining power is actually pretty important, right? If you don't spend electricity, then the uh, the base costs uh, for Bitcoin doesn't go up. It's like, well, it costed me like it's just like you know staking these coins. It doesn't cost us anything to mint these coins. Just buy it's just a one time cost, and then just to leave your laptop on. It's like five dollars a month in electricity. You don't even have to leave it on all the time. In fact, you could just do if you live in New York City like I do, just go to your public library and just use their internet and their electricity. That, then it doesn't cost you anything, right? <laughs> you know, if I were homeless, that's exactly what I would be doing, right? If I were homeless and I had literally nothing, you know, I had a shelter, or whatever, the first thing I would do is, well, I guess if I were that desperate, I would actually have to learn how to use a Raspberry Pi and then mint my cryptocurrency through that. It's even cheaper. Otherwise, I would just have to save up the bag for one hundred fifty dollars. I could buy a shitty laptop, and then uh, try to, um, and I have to, and then I probably have to actually come up with begging money to store my laptop too, because uh, obviously I'm homeless and I'm at, at a homeless shelter. So of course everyone's going to steal from me. So you know, it's it's cheaper to do that, and then that's what I would do. So uh, yeah. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So yeah, I just realized, yeah, what what Bitcoin will do is just what Dogcoin has already done. Just make each block like a fixed amount of Dogcoin forever. And, and that's all you do. Bitcoin will do the same thing. Just like, yeah, you just get like two Bitcoin per block forever or something. That's not going to kill anything. Uh, so no, it will not go proof of stake. It can, but it will not. Um, I'm not going to go buy with the thing. Uh, uh, the thumbnail. Amazon's lawsuit. Oh yeah, so I don't. Oh, where's Daily Holo? Uh, okay. Don't care. Don't care. Uh, okay. I don't care. Treasury part taps fintech giant square PayPal into it to help distribute billions to small businesses. Yeah, this is kind of like uh, why I just hate big tech so much. Now we're using them to help, you know, spend money. So it's going to be almost impossible to like, well, at least for now, maybe, you know, because on the one hand, they're working with the government, but on the other hand, it could also mean maybe we'll have a little more control over Silicon Valley eventually. When we do start ordering all these piece of shit uh, big tech uh, firms to like, hey, stop censoring conservatives kind of thing. Uh, but that'll have to come later. And actually, it'll have to come after we dealt with the fake right. Crypto Wheel says only one thing will prove Bitcoin is ready for the next day. Oh, yeah. Okay, so basically nothing nothing uh, decent uh, on here. We already went over Trump's election chances. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, I will be giving a briefing future of what we do now. Um... Uh, uh, a partnership with John Carney sounds familiar. Uh, states are taking the lead as we fight to slow the day. Thank you for the partnership. Uh, but we, but if I work, it's a global reach. Uh, for our regular help reopening, oh, God, re oh, here it is. You're sick. So, call out your re. Have former regional advisor account help guide our reopening since COVID area has passed. We can act on our own. We must be smart to how region comes out, or else we'll be back to square one. So yeah. So even <clears throat> so, even uh, New Jersey and Cuomo are actually acknowledging that we do need to reopen something. So let's see. Uh, all right, I guess I'll retweet it. I do want to check out all these other things here too. 
All right, so the reason why we're on uh, Cuomo's uh, thingamajig here is because obviously I need to know what his state of mind is. And I could tell basically on the way he tweets, all right? You know, if we go to Mayor de Blasio, where he was acting like a paranoid woman fanatic and just crying and whatever, it's like, this is just disgusting. And then the other half of his tweets was just him attacking Republicans. It's like, dude, like, you're the mayor of New York City. Can you, like, actually act like, like, and you wanted to be president of America? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I was also lawsuit over 10 billion. Pentagon kind of lays out disturbing allegations against Trump. Oh, this is about their stupid little... Yeah, okay, we don't care about that. I thought it was just the normal people suing Amazon. Yeah, we don't care. Coronavirus stimulus checks what to do if you haven't received money yet. Okay, so obviously I want my Trump bucks. I haven't gotten it yet. 80 million Americans expect to receive a stimulus check by the end of this week as part of the first wave of payments the Treasury Department said this week. Okay. Uh, the department expects a large majority of eligible will get their payments in the next two weeks. Some have already, those are still waiting for order one, will soon be able to track and align. Americans will also be able to provide the IRS, right? We already, oh, I already X'd out the site, but you already, got, you guys already saw it. If you don't receive them by Wednesday, you will put in your direct deposit info, and within several days, we'll be automatically filing your account. We want to do as much of this electronically as we can, yes, because it's a lot faster, it's safer. Um, they can obviously track it. And then number two, uh, it's just cheaper for everybody. It's, so it's literally way better in every single way you could imagine. Um, okay, very good. I should probably retweet this actually. Hey, it's just a reason I like get my payment tool, right? We already went through it as a 20, who gets a stimulus check? We already know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, very good. All right, so let's see. All right, we're just going to make this the thumbnail later. Um, okay, I just want to read the Department of Treasury. So this was written yesterday. Uh, tens of millions. Okay, so I should be getting my Trump bucks tomorrow. Because I actually know some people have already said they've gotten it. In fact, when I watch my Twitch streams, right, people who donate money, right, they actually say, yeah, I got my Trump bucks. So, uh, yeah, people are getting their money. So this is legit. Uh, I just haven't gotten mine yet, and a lot, and a lot of others have. Uh, Non-filers can use it. Do, 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 do. I also send you a mail letter to the most current address they have on file proxy 15 days after it sends your payments. Okay. Well, mine's obviously updated, so we should be fine. I also did the census, too. So, yeah, it should be pretty good. All right, so that means I should be getting my money then. Um, oh, God, this... This fucking, this fucking fight is so annoying, and I need a seven-star zombie to even have a ch chance of cracking it. All right, we'll go again. All right, hit you there. All right, so anyway, uh, so far, so good. Uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right-hand side of this page so that, um, you know, we continue growing this channel. So, um, I'm honestly done for the day. Uh, I'm getting kind of hungry, but I, I kind of want to just play some video games and then lift weights, even though I don't feel like lifting weights today. Because uh, I actually did spend more time coding yesterday, and of course, Bracky's, I mean, he's decent, but a lot of his code is just convoluted, complex, and it's just bad. It's actually bad. Uh, so I spent hours, but it didn't feel that bad because I was also watching Moon Moon play uh, his Final Fantasy stuff. So whenever he was playing the Final Fantasy VII remake, so whenever he was in like the grinding areas or like the slower areas, right? Uh, you know, I just had to play in the background. And I just do a little bit more coding, right? So I was trying to basically get the enemy AI to chase me, right? And I had a bunch of bugs related to that. I also was trying to implement go back to your spawn point once you run away too far, but it's not working. But I'm thinking. But I remember today there will be a um, uh, there will be like an enemy combat AI, so maybe he addresses that problem. Uh, but, but with that, I have to start implementing my own. You know, enemy shoots at you. I have the Google search open for that. And number two, uh, there was actually a really good tutorial. Actually, I should open up that guy's channel. Uh, there was a really good tutorial um, where the guy spends like. 10 minutes and 56 seconds explaining how to instantiate and create spawners and like that i like that guy's code it's quick it's simple it's elegant straight to the point uh and it makes total sense 
Uh, still not the best, but it's way better than Bracky's. So, um, and I do technically have the Zenva course uh, spawner that does um, RPCs as well. So I'll have to take a look at that uh, eventually too. But for now, I want to start at the basics again and work my way up. Because right? again, it's all repetition. So the more I do it, the better I get. I'm a way better coder now than I was when I started January, right? Exactly three months ago. It's like, you know, I was like worried. I was a little scared. Well, I shouldn't say scared, but worried for sure. I was like, oh man, this is really hard. How am I going to overcome this? You know, God, I need some help <laughs> kind of thing. It's like, oh, okay. It, it's, it's not as bad as the fear in my head makes it out to be. And that's a good, good thing. Which is why, you know, uh, combining Jesus Christ with coding definitely helps. Right? Because after all, Jesus, over, Jesus overcame everything so that you could. Uh, YouTube... Uh, what was the, um, enemy AI? Hmm. Enemy follows players. Maybe, yeah, this is the guy. Today? Yes, that's the one. And I want the spawning objects in Unity using Instantiate. Easy. Yes, there we go. All right. Now, if you're curious, this is the video. So anyway, I'm honestly done for the day. I uh, got a lot of shit to do. Um, why is this? Done? Let me give you some advice. Uh, oh, that's right, because I don't have I don't have ad block on Firefox. Skip ad. Yes. So yeah. So anyway, I got a lot of stuff to do. Yep. So this is the uh, thing here: spawning objects. Uh, let me see. Here we go. Also, I like uh, I like the. I mean, normally I like a black background with white text or whatever, but in this case I don't mind so much. You know, funny enough, he's using his his Mac too, so you can just take a look at this. So this is what uh, let's see, what has he got? Screen bounds vector two. So I guess he wants to contain everything within the screen. Get the component of the rigid body two D. Uh, rigid body velocity equals new vector two negatives. So reverse the speed. So basically the speed's going backwards. Screen bounds, camera, main point, blah, blah, blah. All right, so he hasn't actually gotten to the instantiate part yet. All right, whatever. So basically, I think what he wants to do is he wants, I guess for his specific space game, he wants to, yeah. Oh, actually, this is probably more relevant. Oh, man. Oh, I wanted to show the mobile phone, but basically, if you're playing the mobile, he, want, he wants the objects to spawn on the screen that you, the player, see, so, okay. So I think that's what it, I think that's what his intention is. See, the fact that I can even un, kind of understand that and not sweat too much is like well, that's pretty cool. Back then, I would just be like, "What the fuck am I reading?" Like, I'm, I'm like, "Oh, I'd rather just learn a second language." That's what it seems like. Yeah. Luckily, it's not that bad. All right. See you all in tomorrow's video. I'm doing nothing, just sitting tight, chilling, enjoying, just waiting. It. Uh, things are getting better. Everyone's reopening. This, this. You mean Andrew Cuomo is like, yeah, it's just reopen, whatever. So uh, yeah. Good times are coming. Uh, just hang tight. Don't lose uh, faith. Don't lose hope. Get right with God. Get right with Jesus Christ if you need it. Right? Actually, you always need it. Uh, and that'll solve your problems. And then before you know it, we'll just, we'll probably even forget coronavirus even happened one month from now. All right. I won't forget it. All right. Hopefully, a lot of people won't. But oh well. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. Oh wow. There's a lot of notifications here. So someone's getting rattled. Or maybe someone's in support. Hopefully, we'll be in support. And here's our little. Ah, all right. I, I guess I'll see. All right, this is our thumbnail. I'll have to figure out what the title of this video is going to be, though.